Today it is time for April favorites and I know these videos are so played out and there are so many favorites videos out there but I am still content on making them but I am going to turn this into a series guys y'all know how I am I series everything I'm about 95% sure it's going to be called the millionth and if it's something different of course you've already seen it in the title but it is going to be a series and it's basically going to be saying you know what I know this is the one millionth favorites video out but I am still doing it so here it is and it would be so much more fun just to call it what it is you know it there's favorites videos just about every beauty channel has their monthly favorites so I just wanted to make mine stand out a little bit more a little be a little bit more unique and just call it what it is people so if you want to find out what my favorites of the month of April is just keep watching Hey everybody, how are my glow tarts doing today? I hope everybody's well. And for those of you that are new, my name is Mandy. Welcome to the video. All right, guys, so like you already seen in the title, yes, I did make my, my monthly favorites into a series. It has video after video after video or on the first of every month. It's April favorites, May favorites, March favorites. And I love, I absolutely love doing my monthly series. I love watching them. But guys, I had to series it. I had to do it in a series. So guys, I have not really got that many. It, it really surprised me. I don't really have that many this month. But these are the everyday must-haves. This is every routine. This is the stuff that I'm pulling out. So if I'm missing stuff from a certain part of your makeup routine, it's because I don't quite have a favorite in that yet. In there, put it in. You don't know how to use a washing machine. And not to mention, it takes three hours. I'm not dry. What? Oh, yeah. Yes, to wash clothes in a washing machine and dryer, it's about three hours. There's no way. I'll be back here. Where are you going now? Okay. All right. I'll be out in a minute. But yes, like I said, oh shit, I forgot where I was at. Damn kids mess up all the time. But yes, these are every day, every makeup routine. This is the stuff that I am pulling out. Whether it be if I'm using it or I'm thinking about using it. And some of the stuff, if I'm not using it and I'm trying out something else, I'm using something else in its place, I wish I was using it. Anyways, guys, let's go ahead and get started. Let's jump into this. First thing is first, I cannot live without this powder. I'm going to go ahead and say it. I need help. This powder is like I live. It's life to me. Like I love this powder and I don't know what I would do without it. It is the RCMA Transparent Setting Powder. Guys, it's just, it gives me such a beautiful finish and it does not matter what foundation I'm using. I'm setting up with this, I bake with this, I do everything with this, and I absolutely love this powder. And next thing, guys, this, I cannot believe how fast this has become one of my favorites. This is the LA Color Strobing Illuminating Powder, and this is in the shade Champagne. Now, guys, you know I just got this a few weeks ago. I absolutely love this. It is just it looks so perfect on my skin and it does it doesn't exaggerate the texture on my skin a lot of highlighters tend to do that and I don't really mind it it's just the ones that instead of just showing them and showing that they're there there are some highlighters that exaggerate them and make them look bigger it's like look at me look at me no this one I absolutely love it does have a beautiful finish now it can be very subtle with one layer or you could build it up two layers they're looking at you from space 
But yes, guys, I absolutely love it. I think it is the perfect shade for me. I use it for just about anything. The inner corner, the brow bone, the nose, the cupid's bow, and of course the popping highlights. Guys, this has fastly been becoming a favorite in its LA colors. That is the good part. It was either two or three dollars, so I'm definitely going to stock up. And there is one shade that I have not used, and it's got like a slight pinky undertone. So I will be grabbing that one to try it out. Now, I do have the icy white one. Well, it's not really icy white. Well, yeah. Yeah, it's icy white. I love that one just as well, but I think this one is a better match for my skin tone. This next thing is next. If you've seen my tutorials, if you have watched any of my videos, and I mean any one of them, you see me with this, or I'm talking about this, or I'm thinking about this. Oh my gosh, the Tarte Tartlet Palette, and it is, I think this is the first palette they made. I'm not, don't quote me on that. Don't, don't come at me with pitchforks, please. I think it's the first one. It is the Tarte Tartlet Amazonian Clay Matte Palette. Guys, it is completely matte, and again, look, look, I think I broke my mirror. I really did because the other day it was just stopping like right there and now I've used it so much I have broke the hinges I have wore the hinges down on this palette I absolutely love it now every shade in here is matte now I'm always using this palette it doesn't matter if I'm using the cream shades or I'm using these because these are the six shades in the middle are the perfect transition colors and I use them with almost every single look unless I'm testing out another palette this is the one that I'm using now of course you know I love my shimmer lid shades I can't really do an all matte look it just it there is something about it that kind of drives me nuts if I don't have shimmer on the lid so of course you know I got to have that other palette and I think you guys already know what I'm going to say so so I think that you think that you know what I'm about to say it's kind of weird. Anyways, guys, it is the Jacqueline Hill and Morphe palette. You guys, I think y'all already knew I was going to say this. This, again, this is another palette in every single tutorial that I do, and I cannot help it. I try to use new stuff in my tutorials, but I can't. I can't. I absolutely love it. It Now, it the matte shades, there is some really good transition shades right here, which I absolutely love. If you can see Cream Sickle, I've already hit pan on. I need another one. Jaclyn Hill, like she's watching my videos. Can you send me another one, please? But guys, I love it, and I love the reds. I mean, there is something about a red or an orangey eyeshadow look that I think looks really good with my eye color and my skin tone and my hair color. I don't know what it is, but those are the ones that I intend to be drawn to. So I absolutely love this whole area. But it is such a beautiful palette, guys. And again, it's Morphe. So, you know, you got to save the bugs. All right, guys, the next thing. This is an oldie, but a goodie. This is the MAC Gimme More Sun Bronzer. Yes, I'm bringing it back old school, girls. I love this bronzer. This is the perfect, perfect shade. It is not too warm. It is not too cool. It is that happy medium, which I absolutely love. And it does have shimmer in it, but it does not, sh but it doesn't, it does have shimmer in it, but it doesn't, does that make sense? It don't really show up as a shimmer. It just gives you that slight glow like you are just, you have been kissed by the sun. And I absolutely love it. Next thing is next, guys. Next thing is next. That was the most stupidest thing I think has ever come out of my mouth. All right, guys. Next, another LA Colors product. I'm so happy to see an LA Colors in my favorites. Or in a favorites video for that for that matter. Anyways, it is the LA Colors Truly Matte Long Wearing High Pigment Foundation. Mine is in shade Soft Beige. Now, I do want to go back and get one that is just a little bit darker than this one. Maybe a tone or two darker than this one. 
but this is such a beautiful foundation and it is very long wearing. I think I wore this up to nine hours with no problems. There was no creasing, no, no spotting, no wearing off. It is absolutely beautiful and it gives you, now I know it says matte, but it is a very soft matte. It still leaves a little bit of luminosity into your, in your finish. Just, just a hint that makes it look so natural and I absolutely love it. And I think it was only $4. Again, don't quote me. It, I know it wasn't over five. I do know that, I promise. All right guys, now the next thing, and I know y'all are so sick and tired of hearing about this damn concealer. It is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Mine is in light neutral. Why I had to look at that, I don't know, because I already knew that. I don't know why I just done that, guys. I'm so sorry. Like, I was about to lie to y'all or something. I don't even know why I read that. Shut up, Mandy. It is light and neutral. I absolutely love it. It is not too yellow, because I don't like anything that is, like, very blinding yellow up under my eyes, because it just doesn't go with my skin tone. So, I just absolutely love this concealer. It blends out. It blends out. It has long wear time. It just does its job. And my favorite, favorite, favorite is its full coverage. Now, the next thing that I could not live without and I could not take out of my routine, if you pried this out of my hand, you'd probably be digging your own grave. It's the Makeup Revolution Ultra Cream Contour Palette. This is my Cream Concealer Palette Kit. I absolutely love it. Look at this. I'm already out of two shades, so I'm already going to have to start ordering something because, you know, these shipping people, they are very, very slow when it comes to giving me my shit. Let's go further. I absolutely love it. Now, again, it's got a banana shade in here, but it is not too bright yellow. It is just that perfect. It's got the perfect amount of yellow tone in it, if that makes sense. This matches my skin perfectly, so that is what I use to spot conceal most of the time, and I absolutely love that, and it does have a cream highlighter that is blinding. Love it. All right, guys, the next thing is something else fairly new. I've just, I've only had for a few weeks, but I love it. It is sealed. It is in my favorites video, so it is here to stay. And it is, again, L.A. Colors. This is this is the L.A. Colors Brow Paul Made. Yes, I said it. L.A. Colors has a Brow Paul Made out. Mine is in shade Soft Brown. I absolutely love this, guys. I've had it for a few weeks. I've had it for the last few weeks. It has not dried out. It is the perfect shade. It has... It is just the perfect color for my brows. Not too warm, nothing too cool, and it definitely does not look red. I absolutely love it. It does have long wear time, and it does come with its own brush, which I do use. Yes, I actually use a brush that comes with a product, and I love the brush itself. I don't know why I didn't bring that in here, but I do love this. All right, guys, another LA Colors. God, I'm so excited. I didn't realize I had this many LA Color products in my favorites. This is the Auto Lip Liner in, in shade Burgundy. Now, this is one of those lip liners. It's a cream lip liner, and it's one of the ones that you could turn up, kind of like an eyeliner. I do not have to sharpen this. It is just, it stays. I don't know what it is about this pencil, but it draws my lips out perfect, and it does not run usually keeps most every lipstick that I put or I pair with it. it. Most of those lipsticks, it does keep inside the lines. Now, there are those lipsticks that are a little bit too creamy or whatever, and they like to run out of any lines, and it don't matter what you use. I don't care if you barricade around your lips. It's still going to run out those lines, but for most part, it does keep all colors in. In the color of it, I just use with every shade. I don't know what it is about it. If I am doing a nude lip, I use this, and it darkens out those edges just enough to look really natural. It could go with dark shades. Now, much darker than this, I, use, I can't, I wouldn't be able to really use this if the shade 
the lip shade is going to be darker than this. But I don't really wear a lot of dark shades. So, that don't matter. Okay, I might have lied to y'all. Maybe I do have more than I have or else I'm running my mouth too much about one product. So, let's keep going. I think I only have like three things left. So, you're almost there, guys. Next thing is the Gold Bond Ultimate Healing Skin Therapy Cream Aloe. I, I don't know. I'm just reading words around the bottom. I don't know why I'm doing that. It's the Gold Bond Ultimate Lotion. Guys, I absolutely love this. And I am going to link a video right here above my head. Hopefully, I get this on the right time and not way before or after. I just point it up there. But hopefully, it's up there. I will link the video. I have a video just about this. I have been using this for primer, and I absolutely love it. It is still working like a charm. And I have fallen in love. What more can I say? Now, for the next thing is another cream. This is like my little skincare part. Anyways, this is Clark's Botanical, and it is a night cream, but I didn't, I think it's called, there's a name on it somewhere, but it is rubbed off, but I will put it down in my description box. Never mind, but I still will put it in my description box. It is the Retinol Rescue Overnight Cream, and like I said, it is Clark's Botanical. I got this in an Ipsy bag, guys. I absolutely love this. I love it. What you do is you put this on at night. You wear it overnight. In the morning, you get up to do your makeup or whatever you're going to do. You wash your face in the morning. So you're basically washing this off, but it leaves just the most silkiest, beautiful feeling to my face. I absolutely love it. And another thing, just a pinch of this will cover my whole face. I couldn't believe it. I have never seen a lotion that done that, but this does. Just a pinch will cover my whole face, and I love it, love it, love it. Now for the last favorite. This is, I don't know. Okay, this is Skin Nutrition. Now, guys, believe it or not, I got this at the Family Dollar Store, and it was only $2, and there is a three-step system and it has got this brightening lotion. It has got a skin toner. And there is something else. It might be a, um, a face wash or something. I'm not sure. I've used the toner and I've used this, but I have not tried the wash. I love it. It is Skin Nutrition's New York Skin Brightening Intensive Moisturizer. And up here, Ultimate Skin Care System 123. It is a three step. You don't have to use them all together if you don't want to. They tell you that so you buy all three of their products. But I don't listen. I break the rules all the time. This is supposed to be step three of that system. And all this is is a brightening lotion. I use this before my makeup. I absolutely love it. It does leave my skin silky and soft. And it does leave it very luminous. What more can I say? I don't know what else to say. I love it. Now, guys, here is a little twist at the end of this video. There, There is one product that was very disappointing for me for the month of April, and I hated to put it in here, but I still wanted to let y'all know. And, and if you watch my videos, you already knew about this anyways. The LA Colors, and it is LA Colors, so sorry, guys, you got this one wrong. LA Colors Conceal It Cover and Correct Concealer. Now, I got this to color correct. I use orange to cover up my birthmark. And then I put a regular color or my skin color um, concealer on the top of this to cover that up. But this, I was using it first, and it is a very beautiful concealer. It has a beautiful finish. It blends out. It wears for a very extremely long time and it covers the important part it covers guys i used this for about a week after first getting this and my eyes were always bothering me during this week i found out that this was stinging like burning my eyes and my eyes was swollen and just really irritating and always running and when i stopped using this of course my eyes quit so I really wish I could wear this, but it is stinging my, my eyes so bad that I can't, but I think it is a beautiful concealer. But yes, this was the one disappointment that I had for the month, and if you watched my haul video the other day, I did go back and get the shade tan just to spot conceal around my face. Well, 
I don't listen very well and I don't pay attention. So again, I took this and put it over top of my other color corrector that I've been using and it stung my eyes again, like burning, stinging. I don't know why I done that, but I did just get this to spot conceal and it and I used it up under my eyes and it started burning so I know for a fact it was these products but I do love them I think they have beautiful finishes and and they do their jobs but they do a little extra you know they're like that they're like that person at work that you know they do their jobs but they're just aggravating as hell that's the way I think of them like they're that worker that's aggravating you know they do their jobs but just aggravating so I had to throw in this video guys but anyways guys that is the end of the favorites video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you like seeing all my favorites so if you enjoyed this video enjoyed seeing my favorites and hell if you like me in general go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to be part of my glow tart family we would love to have you and I love you guys so so much and I will see you next video. Bye guys. Well, I don't like this about you. You're acting crazy. I'm about to put your ass up. Let me tell you. And you made it to my favorites too. In a bad way. I hope you like me. That was really dumb.